KX112 and two kids super eager to ride and this should be fun. Hey what's up guys, Rado here with Serin and my son Timothy and hey uh, we have uh, something in common here. Serin, what is the bike that you feel really good on? A TTR 125. How about you Timmy? TTR 125. There you go guys. So we have these four stroke kits here and uh, we need to do something about it because both of them are getting serious. So, uh, Serin, what are you doing uh, with the TTR 125? Launching the jumps, racing? Can, I, can you tell us a little bit more? Yeah, so I've been doing the works races and I've won once. Woo! Um, but I just needed a better bike for races and a better suspension. Right on. So, uh, Seren here, she's racing works races and uh, frankly TTR is just not bike for something like that. She argued that bike and she needs something else. Also my boy Timmy, we don't race, but he got really good on TTR. Tim, what do you think? How do you feel on the TTR? Um, comfortable. Oh, that's a good word. So he feels comfortable. I think it's already uh, like at the peak uh, because he's launching the jumps too and then suspension is not doing good job. So we need a real dirt bike and this is KX112. Uh, this will be a transition, uh, maybe not easy transition, but this would be our first step into a real dirt bikes. And you might ask why we picked uh, 112 compared to, for example, 85 SX from KTM. So I can give you a couple of reasons here. So reason number one is that uh, this retails for 5,099, which is uh, 1,600 less than KTM 85 SX that retails for 6,699. That's one good reason. That's over 30% right there in the price. KX112 is new bike for 2022 and it's based on KX100. Obviously you got bigger engine that's 12 cc extra and since the engine is bigger they also had to tweak a lot of parts internally in the engine. One of them to mention would be the transmission that is stronger than before because now we have more power more torque so the transmission needs to be stronger to withstand all that extra torque. Also what I really like about the bike is that it comes with a keen carburetor, it's the, pretty much the best stock carburetor on the market and it's nice and crisp and it's easy to jet so that's a really good point. Next, uh, there are six different positions for your handlebars. So, you know, we can really uh, tweak this bike ergonomics to fit Timothy and to fit many other riders as well. And also the bike can grow with Timothy. Brakes and suspension on this bike, it's pretty much comparable to what you would have on your full-size bike. So it's a nice and strong hydraulic brake where you will learn that uh, sensitivity of the brake and also the suspension. You can just throw way more on this suspension compared to the other bikes Timothy was riding. Now these bikes KX112 are currently at the dealers. Uh, there is many other stuff at the dealers that you guys can pick up and support your local dealer. If you want to check their inventory you can go online on puremoto.com. You can search your local dealer and see what they have in stock before you go and pick it up. And then uh, what I'm thinking also you know having a 112 you got a bigger bore, so you have better bottom. And since these guys are coming from four stroke, I think they can benefit from having an engine that pulls a little bit better from the bottom and doesn't have to be all the time on the pipe. So they definitely will have some learning curve. So today, what we want to do, we're gonna jump on these bikes, both of them. This is first time for them to ride this uh, two stroke bike. I'm excited, dad behind the camera, uh, Serin's dad is also excited. So let's see how it goes, uh, have some fun. <laughs> A little more gas. Uh, Put in gear. There you go. Oh, you gotta give it a little more. No, no, no. You gotta be on. You cannot go like on a four stroke. Good job, good job. Clutch, 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 clutch. Gear, gear, gear. Way different than TTR.
All right, guys, we're gonna take a screamer for a quick lap. See how she feels. <laughs> I'm not gonna jump big jumps. <laughs> Woo! This thing is fast. So the kids have little issues with coming too hard to the turns. They are used to four strokes engine brake. So they are used to the four-stroke engine brake, so they find, find it a little difficult to go on the front and rear brake before the turn. So that's why they are coming a little bit slower into the turns, because they don't have the trust yet that they can slow down on time and make the turn. But this thing, man, this thing rips. It's fast even for me. But one thing, look, it has nice bottom. This is second gear. So this is what I was talking about. When you are on 85, the bottom is not there. It's not same as this 112. So you have the smoother transition. You got the bottom. You can trust it. You don't have to be clutching it off the turns like eh, 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 all the time. So for kids, for Timmy and Sarin, look, uh, learning how to ride this two stroke, I think this is a great package. All right, so here we have KX 112 and TTR 125. They are both uh, 1916 uh, wheels, so they kind of should feel the same, but look at the frame and the seat height and everything on this bike, and it's just a major difference. And check out the suspension, like this KX has a full motocross suspension, nice, uh, you know, tunable, nice forks. Uh, the TTR is actually leaking a little bit, but this just your trail bike, you know, you can go on a nice ride for a couple hours cruising on the trails, but if you want to get serious on a motocross track, this is the way to go. Guys, so we are done riding our first day on kx 112 is behind us uh Sarin, what do you think how did you feel um i like it a lot better it really it's it's really different like it's way more bumpier mm -hmm. and it, it's better with jumps okay now how was the power i know you rode once 85 before yeah. did you feel like this one has a little bit of power from the bottom when you go on the gas yeah like on that one you like you have to put a lot of power but for this one you just have to like barely okay. put full the throttle right right so that's that's what i was thinking exactly i didn't write it before i made that uh statement but i i felt that since it's 112 the bottom power on this thing will be much better than 85 and hence it will be easier for these kids you know to get used to that uh, coming out of the corners you don't have to clutch it every single corner you don't have to get into that mid of the power every single corner the transition 
from the bottom to a mid and on a pipe it's way smoother than on the smaller displacements. Timmy, uh, what do you feel, uh, how was the first day for you? Well, first it was really hard to ride it and really scary and uh, for me it's also pretty much bumpy and I don't and I don't think I feel that comfortable on it yet but hopefully I soon feel comfortable and I can go fast all right yeah so uh, we knew that uh, it's not gonna be like we jump on this thing and we'll be like you know uh, screaming out of the turns and, and doing everything that those people are doing uh, on the 125s or other two strokes we know it's a learning curve personally uh, I'm impressed uh, I think they both did great uh, Serin, she did really good. She was jumping some stuff here. And uh, at the end, we had a nice battle where Timmy was on TTI 125, Serin was on this thing, and they tried to beat each other. And it was just fun to watch. And I think for the first time, first ride, I think they both did amazing. So uh, from now on, I think we are going to transition more riding the green thing and forgetting about the blue thing and uh, just get better on a two stroke. How do you feel about that, Timmy? I don't know. <laughs> Come on, dude. Uh, I guess I feel okay about it. <laughs> Alright, he feels okay. Now, Serin, for you, uh, you're planning to race a little bit more. So, uh, we're gonna get you this bike for a couple races, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm planning to get this bike so I can practice and get better. Alright, so that's our plan, guys. Ride more, get better on 112. On uh, it was fun. I took it for a spin and uh, I could really feel that the bottom is there. The riding wasn't uh, too crazy. I didn't have to be on the pipe all the time. But uh, once on the pipe, it's so much fun. And it actually didn't go that fast. I think there is a big difference from this bike to uh, 125. And also, you know, I'm like a little bit over 200 pounds now. So uh, this bike is not made for me. But hey, it's a great package. Uh, I'm happy that we could have this thing with Serin and Timmy. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let us know below in the comments. And don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.